Alright. Here we are, game two. Complexity, Immortals, Pugna again. It'll work, guys. I swear it'll work. Just give us a chance to run it again. Pugna, Night Stalker, Immortals, Jakiro, Spirit Breaker for Complexity, and uh, this back a little bit. This is yelling into the mic. And uh, Nature's Prophet, Wisp banned out by Immortals. No global gaming for either side. Complexity, they're going to ban out Witch and Venomancer. So right away you take a look and uh, it's Forev Pugna. I mean, it's got to work. If you try and try again, eventually it'll work. Eventually. Has to, right? So, Pugna Night Stalker, what was it? Febby on the Wisp last game, Dubu on the Night Stalker, Forev on the Pugna. So, right now it's a similar draft, but they don't have the Wisp this time around. Complexity, they go Spirit Breaker, Jakiro. Well, could be in offlane Jakiro. So, we'll have to see if that's the case. If the Met. Uh, poof, sorry. If uh, Mu is going to go with Jakiro on this one, or if that's going to be a position 5 Jakiro. Get a ban of the Beastmaster. Get a ban of the Necro. Let's see what Immortals want to ban out next. This Complexity. They don't have the Nature's Prophet. They don't, you know, they don't have that ability to go with something a little more global. But if they were to go Jakiro 5, they could still pick up a Nyx in the offlane. Wouldn't be terrible. But uh, we'll have to see what they want to do. Immortals into this reserve time heavily uh, going for this fourth ban. We'll see what they're thinking and if it's if it's going to involve, you know, more stuns than last game. They've got uh, Monkey King banned out, Life Stealer banned out by the side of Complexity. And uh, now they're going to pick up Bloodseeker. Again, this is... A very similar draft to what Immortals ran in the last series. It's similar to what they ran in the first game. Where they're trying to rely on this Bloodseeker and this Pugna to get that instant damage out there. From the Pugna followed up with the Bloodseeker. But it just doesn't seem to work. I mean, they didn't get it to work in either game against DC, they're not getting it to work the last game against Complexity. So we'll have to see if maybe this time it's the charm. They move this to a, you know, they push this to a game three, but, you know, I, I would have to say their lineup has to involve a stunt. So Spirit Breaker, Jakiro for the side of Complexity. And now they're going to pick up Warlock. Not something you see all too often anymore. <laughs> uh, you've got Warlock, who's going to be in that position 5. Spirit Breaker in that 4 spot. And Jakiro picked up for the offlane. So going to be an interesting lineup coming out from Complexity. Now working with this Warlock. Um, Chaotic Offering, obviously. Uh, Fatal Bonds could work well with this team. And now there's the big time stun, the big time carry of Chaos Knight for the side of Complexity and Immortals. They go with another slow, they go with the shallow grave of Dazzle, but still again, no stun. It's just, it's interesting that Immortals can try the same strategy time in and time out, and it just doesn't seem as though it's working. They pick up the Dazzle, and we'll see if that translates into a Huskar coming out. But again, the Huskar, that's going to lack a stun. The dire 
get a band. I just think they need one. Obviously, you don't need to get a stun on everybody. It's not like so simp drafting is as simple as that. But it just seems like what their their drafts have been lacking is a stun. And Immortals, Dazzle, Bloodseeker, Pugna, Night Stalker. They threw Pugna in the safe lane last time. He's been off lane before for them. So let's just assume he's in the off lane. Bloodseeker safe lane. Mid Huskar with the Dazzle as a possibility. Unless Complexity ban it out. Dyer's turn to pick. So they ban out the Puck. You know, they, they have the mini stun, obviously, of the Night Stalker. But it's not it's not enough. I just I just don't at least personally don't think it's enough. So complexity, last pick here, Chaos Knight safe lane, Shakiro off lane, they need a mid. You know, maybe they want to go back to that razor. Maybe they want to be the ones who pick up the OD. See what they're thinking here in terms of uh mid hero. They're gonna go brew. So Brewmaster, Chaos Knight, Warlock, Spirit Breaker, Jakiro. We'll see if Immortals do go with that Huskar. Ten seconds. But I don't know if this Huskar is going to work out for them. They've got the Dazzle, of course. They've got the Rupture they can line it up with. Lock, you know, controlling these heroes enough. Choose your hero. Interesting. So they don't go with the Huskar, they'll end up going with the Timber Saw. So Timber here, Dazzle, Bloodseeker, Pugna, Night Stalker against Complexity, Brewmaster, Chaos Knight, Warlock, uh, Spirit Breaker, and Jakiro. So Limp on that Brew, Chessie on the Chaos Knight. Kyle on the Warlock, Z-Freak on the Spirit Breaker, Mu on the Jakiro, and it's going to be QO on that Timber Saw, MP on the Bloodseeker, Febby back uh, on that Night Stalker, that means Ferebs on the Pugna, Dubu with the Dazzle. We'll have to see how this works out for them. Last game, MP really had a tough time. He, he was over in the offlane with the Clinks, died twice there, moved over to the mid lane, immediately got killed. And then Safelane moved over there and got killed again. So MP will can have a better game. It's a low standard to have a better game with. So we'll definitely have to see how Immortals go for this. Game two, winner plays DC in the final. And a best of three that's happening after this. Hopefully, well, time for dinner before that. Prepare for battle. So Febby again. Just gonna go up top here, try and get this deep ward placed out. Not gonna try and break that smoke. Gets that in. Should be a ward placed over here in the lane by Kyle. Or not. I'll throw it up here on the cliff. Meanwhile, you take a look. Four of these heroes setting up for complexity, trying to make an aggressive move towards this bounty rune. The one they'd be seeing would be the Dazzle Dubu, and there it is. They're going to break that smoke. Charge comes out from Z Freak. We'll hit on Dubu. Got Chessy to follow this up. A one second stun. Dual breath. Four heroes here, sir. You're not getting out of this. Dubu going to be killed off by Chessy for first blood. So aggression comes out early for complexity, and just like that, they have a one nothing lead. Over top, you see Ferev and Febby. They're looking for this bounty rune. Nearby is Kyle. And then they'll also grab this offlane rune for QO. And maybe they get this rune over here bottom, but it looks as though Moo's going to take care of this, having dual breath and pushing back these heroes of Immortals. So there it is, two and two.
terms of runes. I have to see how these lanes kind of pan out. As you see, the timber saw over mid bottom, you're going to have MP on this Bloodseeker. Off lane is going to be Forever again on the Pugna. So Forever is going to be up against the likes of Chessy and Kyle. Might be in a little bit of trouble. A stun is there for them. They've also got the Shadow Word to either keep Chessy alive or start to do this damage over time on a Ferev. He's got to be very careful, and especially with the Spirit Breaker of Z Freak coming around, there's definitely opportunities for kills on this complexity lineup. Meanwhile, over mid, you take a look. Wimp versus QO. Brewmaster is going to be here again. Always opportunities for kills with a Spirit Breaker. And, and you see the best Spirit Breakers are the ones who are aggressive from the beginning. They're charging out often, making kills for their teams. The ones that sit back, give the opportunity for their opponent to get those levels, get those a uh, little bit of gold, is sometimes it just does not work out for them. So QO getting quite low. Has two shared tangos, but that's it, Wimp. Level 2 now, he's looking towards getting a couple hits here on QO, pushing him back, but with one reactive armor should be okay as it's just limp over mid. Chessie getting chased back, there's the Void, Shadow Word's gonna heal him up. You've got this nice little bit of nuke damage in the Nether Blast, we'll see if maybe Immortals, they could be the ones finding themselves with a kill over top. It's been z kind of just sitting back over bottom trying to get those levels. He's got one in the Greater Bash now, one in charge. So we'll see now with level 2 if he's the one who's starting to go in. MP could be susceptible to getting ganked here as he's got one in Dual Breath and one in Liquid Fire. But with Dubu around just for that heal bomb, he should be okay. Invis picked up by Z Freak. Just trading shots in mid lane are both Wimp and QO. Dark light. Both teams kind of sitting back. No real aggression coming out from either side just yet. We'll see if now with this Invis rune, rune is now is the time with Z Freak. The dual breath comes out. Looking for that first hit bash. Not going to get it. And there is the heal coming out from Dubu with that Shadow Word. Or, uh, excuse me, Shadow Wave. That's not Warlock. So, complexity. At least the mid looks a little bit tough. If QO maybe gets that level 5, level 6, Limp might be in a little bit of trouble without the help of Spirit Breaker. They are still trying to possibly set something up bottom with Dubu here and MP, but they're trying to do so with the charge. You've got MP just level 3 and constantly getting harassed out with this Liquid Fire and Dual Breath every so often. Makes it a little bit tough for him to just stand there and trade. Z Freak really not charging all too much. And by not all too much, he hasn't really charged any lane at all. But Limp coming in, and that Thunderclap slowing down QO, who might be in a little bit of trouble. Thunderclap up in 8 seconds. Not enough time to get it back up and get this kill on QO, but Limp pushing back this Timbersaw and opening up the lane for him. Again with the Thunderclap, QO. Just this 2 in reactive armor making it so hard for Limp to find anything. He's still harassing him out with that Thunderclap, but it, it's just not enough for a kill. Take a look at Ferev, the nice body box coming from Chessy. Shadow Word, is that going to be enough? Ooh, yes, just enough. So meanwhile, coming in with the charge of Z-Freak, not in time. You have the haste on Limp, not going to be able to lay down that Thunderclap as it was on cooldown. Now it's 2 to nothing in favor of Complexity after getting that kill over top. Still continuing to throw the Thunderclap at QO, but not really doing much in the terms of progress on killing him off. And actually, Dubu drops to move. Finally, a charge coming through from Z-Freak, and it does turn into a kill. Just 
Lucius under this tower, just eating that whirling death. The Chakram comes in, Limp getting a little bit low, QO under this tower, no Timber Chain, but has whirling death in just a moment. He's going to try and run to this shrine, which is available to him post five minutes. They are going to heal up, get the Shadow Word out onto Limp and heal him fully. It's just QO sitting under this tier one tower, okay, and there's the Thunderclap, Kyle coming in. Let's see if they can find anything, Fatal Bonds on to this cart as well as the creep but it's just really a deterrent on QO coming forward meanwhile up top Chessie getting quite low Fabi looking for one more hit to knock down Chessie and Will and it's the first kill going the way of Immortals this time under the tier 1 tower over top so Fabi and Ferev work on Chessie they end up getting the kill Like that, that's the way Immortals can open it up for Ferret. Take a look over mid limp. Continuing to get harassed by QO, and it's really not looking too great for him. Meanwhile, over bottom, Z Freak's gonna try and charge all the way in on MP, but you've got Febby here with Dubu. They've got level 1 in Poison Touch, so the slow might have been really detrimental to Z-Freak's life, but there it is, thrown on Namu with Febby hitting away. You've got MP on the back end, Liquid Fire just trying to deter them away. Now there's the Dual Breath dropped in. They'll get at least one in Dubu. Who's going to be the next victim in this fight, and it ends up being a one-for-one. One. They look towards MP, but he's too far away, and they're not going to find themselves a kill. here. And finally delivered on Febby, still continuing to chase on Z-Freak, who doesn't have enough mana for that charge, has four charges into that stick. But elects not to use them as he's just going to come over down bottom to the shrine. And QO comes over trying to kill off Z Freak. You've got Febby here. The charge away. Looks as though it's going to be enough. Despite Febby and QO looking to chase a little bit. Take a look over bottom, Macropire dropped on top of MP, he's getting a little bit low, Febby still standing in that, Macropire eats the dual breath, he should be falling, and that's going to be Moo with another kill, they look towards Dubu, a nice bash from Z Freak, double kill for Moo on this Jakiro, they don't end up getting MP just yet, but in comes Limp with the Brewmaster to clean him up, so three kills go the way of Complexity, about a thousand net worth shift to give them a lead, and they're also going to get this bottom tier one. It's just a quick 2,000 net worth lead here for Complexity. Now the Shadow Word out on Chessie. Just trying to defend this tier 1 up against Febby and Ferev. Ferev is level 7, so he has that life drain ready. And right into the hands of Ferev and Febby using that Phantasm gets the Chaos Bolt out onto Ferev trying to run away. The big crit's coming through onto Ferev. They get the Nether Blast coming in on Chessie. One more shot will do it. They clean up Chessie on this 2v1 situation. Not with ease by any means, but to get that kill onto the CK, slow up that farm is quite nice. And you take a look at Z Freak with Limp trying to run down QO. The charge is going to follow it up with Limp on the Thunderclap. They'll get this kill and Timbersaw will hit the deck. So a nice trade there, they at least get one. It's not on the return in the fight up top, but they do find out this Timbersaw throw three heroes at him, and it's too overwhelming for him to survive. QO drops as well as Chessie up top. So MP having a much better game than last time, despite being 0-1 and 2. It, it was a, a abysmal start. Pushed out of top, pushed out of mid, pushed out of bottom. Just nowhere for him to go is that clinks. And now, as this Bloodseeker level 6, I see some very good open opportunities in the early game, especially with this stacks for him and for Red. So QO just... Looking down this mid lane over at Moo, Z Freak, and Kyle. They sit here nearby with Limp. No smoke on him. The 
Well, look, at they're going to go in on QO just yet. But as I say that, they throw the ulti in as well as the macro pyre. QO gets hit by that first bash. Moo! As well as Z-Freak. They slam down the Timbersaw. I was not expecting that at all. So nice kill there for Complexity to take out this Timbersaw once again. Now they've got the charge coming through on Febby with Chessie chasing. This is going to be a, not a charge coming all the way through as the Void stops Z-Freak in his tracks. But they want to continue on going. Charge up in five seconds. But that is enough time for Febby to walk away. Take a look over bottom. Dubu going to use that Shallow Grave to TP out. No Thunderclap. And will successfully retreat. No bottom tier one. Limp just using this opportunity to continue farming up. So take a look up top as Timbersaw's made his way there with the Soul Ring and the Arcane Boots. He's sitting 0 2 0. Not exactly the best start for QO. Let's see if he can really turn this around as this Timbersaw. Meanwhile, Mu, one of the better players in this game thus far, is top of the net worth at 5,400. Just using that liquid fire to push down this tower. You've got Dubu nearby, but nobody really coming in aggressively for the side of Immortals except for MP. With that blood right thrown, you now know that the blood seeker is near. And really, it's not going to deter this push. Who just continues to go in, dual breath, liquid fire, dual breath on the creeps, liquid fire on the tower, and it's as easy as that. But meanwhile, this is going to be the side of Immortals pushing forward on the top lane. QO, he's going to be the one who's getting charged. Let's take a look as it is Dubu here. Limp's going to show himself, the charge coming all the way through. It's going to be Limp coming in, thunderclap on Dubu as well as the primal split. On the back end of this fight, QO is fighting both Chessy and Z-Freak. As you take a look at Dubu with the Shallow Grave, keeps himself alive for just a moment. Moo's going to lose his life to MP, and MP working well with Ferev. The ulti's going to be thrown at QO from Z-Freak, but in a little bit of trouble in between both Febby and QO now charging up MP with the Brewmaster here. They're not going to need Limp to continue on forward as Z-Freak gets the kill with the charge. The Fatal Bonds come out. Tessie getting quite low. He'll drop as well. So two for one thus far, and now they'll get themselves another in Febby. So it ends up being an equal trade as of this moment. But with QO so close to Limp, I don't expect him to survive as Rev gets another kill. This one going to be on Z-Freak. Kyle walks into a bad spot, maybe trying to deter the side of Immortals, but Rev will pick off Kyle, get the double kill. Keeps Limp alive, which is a little bit of a silver lining positive for Complexity. A lot of Atos comes through onto Ferev. The life drain might be too much for Mu to handle. QO, no matter right now. Jakiro trying to lay down the macro pyre, but it's not going to be enough. This fight's still raging on as Ferev gets another kill. The charge coming in from Z-Freak all the way to Ferev after they kill off Dubu. But Chessie dies again. <laughs> this fight still is going. The life drain on Limp keeps himself stunned, or keeps himself stationary with that thunderclap and they're actually going to drop a nice ulti from Kyle still not going to save his life MP with another kill it's a double kill from him they'll kill off the golem fatal bonds rot not really doing much of anything and as I say that Febby dies I'm wrong my god top tower is about to take the blood. really don't even know how to react to all that The fight just kept going and going and going and going. I thought it was over, and then it would rage on again. They back off. They come back in. I didn't think that Fatal Bonds was going to be enough, but it does end up killing up Febby. So now Ferev in a nice spot top of the net where something we haven't seen in the previous three games from this Pugna. We'll have to see how complexity down a thousand net worth start to make up the difference. Nothing too crazy, but 
deficit nonetheless, and Ferev does get credit with that tower. As you take a look at both these teams, they do have a good amount of ju uh, not jukes, a good amount of push from both sides. You've got the Nether Blast coming out from Ferev, you've got the Liquid Fire from Complexity. Actually, let's take a look over at Kyle. He's in a lot of trouble. They do get the Ice Path out on Ferev, but Kyle still gets hit by the Chakram. You take a look. They're still continuing to chase. The Rupture is out on Tamu. They kill off Kyle off screen, and now they're looking for more. There's the Chakram whirling death. A kill for Kuo. And that's two cleaned up by Immortals. So two cleaned up by Immortals. Mu gets taken out. They had the rupture and the blood right on top of him. Kyle take, gets taken out over by the shrine. And it's starting to be Immortals who run away with this with this ah, pff, <laughs> with this game. Meanwhile, Kyo gets stunned up by the Chaos Bolt of Chessie. They look to maybe continue to chase. The primal split comes out from the Brewmaster. They look towards getting the kill on Dubu, but he's gonna use that shallow grave to keep himself alive. Or actually, it comes out from Dubu on a Ferev. The ulti's flying through. Ferev will drop MP as well to Chessy. And now they look to continue the chase on to Dubu. He's in a lot of trouble. I don't know if he's going to get out. He won't. And now they're going to focus their attention on to this Timbersaw. QO all by his own himself. The Chakram as well as the Whirling Death will push back in for just a moment. Into the Macrofire. Into the Ice Path as well as the Dual Breath. QO to the high ground is out for just a moment. Still continuing to run. 20 stacks of reactive armor. Now the timber chain down towards the river into the hands of Limp. He'll be pulled back by Chessie and finally taken out. So four dead complexity. They find a very good fight. It's now 18 to 14 back to about even between these two teams. Do smoke up right after that, looking to push as they queue up with the Shrine. The Rupture comes out again. Amu is going to try and TP away. z -free comes in with the charge. They look towards getting Ferev, but he's in a good spot. They've got the Fatal Bonds out on a couple of these heroes, but they've already lost Mu. And nobody from the side of Complexity is going to follow this up. I thought maybe Complexity were going to commit to that a little bit more, but they lose Mu. The Fatal Bonds on a couple of these heroes, they don't follow it up with... Chaotic Offering or anything and end up just losing Mu for what seems to be no reason. Dyer's middle tower is under pressure. So continuing to push is going to be Immortals and they're looking towards grabbing this tier 3. They've got the Nether Ward down. They're going to deter the counter from Complexity and finally TPing back is going to be the Brewmaster. Just using that Nether Blast every so often to uh, really burst down this tower. There's the Fatal Bonds on a couple. A nice Chaotic Offering on a three. They've got Lim trying to go in with the Brewmaster, but he's going to be Yules up as well as the Ice Path dropping onto MP. He's going to be saved by Dubu with the Shallow Grave. They still continue to hit away at him. Meanwhile, on the back end, they're going to take out Ferev. They're looking for more. They'll get the kill on MP. And now... <laughs> Tornadoed up is going to be this Night Stalker. There's not really much he can do. Z Freak's going to be the first one to drop for complexity. They finally take out Dubu, and now they're looking for more. And Kuo on the back end, they've taken out Febby, and just one survives for Immortals. Let's see if he can get out. The Rod of Atos is there. The Ice Path on top of that. Dual Breath and the Deny. It's a full team wipe in favor of complexity. So, complexity. They defend that tier 3 tower, don't even let it drop, stands with about eh, a third of its health. They pull this game back to even with that full team wipe. So 22 to 16 in favor of complexity. Looking to find their moment in pushing and maybe an offensive fight. That was more a counter fight coming in on the offensive push of Immortals. We'll have to see if uh, they can make something happen with a win like that next time around for Complexity. So let's take a look. 
Trev with that Nether Blast just continuing to chunk out this tower. They've got Darkness coming through with Febby waiting on the wing with Dubu. He might look to move in on this complexity side, but already retreating is both Kyle and Moo. On the side, you got Z Freak maybe looking for an opportunistic charge, but with all these heroes here for the side of Immortals and two away for complexity, I don't think they're going to want to go in. Upheaval there from Kyle as well as the Rod of Atos coming over his Fabi over the trees using that void on Kyle and Z Freak's going to come in with the charge on the back end. They've got Limp and now complexity. They're looking for their moment, but Limp in a lot of trouble. The life drain as well as the rupture is there. They'll take out one. They'll lose forever on the back end and now QO just in the middle of this fray with fatal bonds on what seems to be all these heroes. They finally get this nice shallow grave to keep QO alive, but they're going to lose Dubu. They might actually lose QO who's stuck in the ice path in the macro pyre. And the arm with toggles from Chessie are amazing! They're going to get themselves a nice four second chaos boat into the ice path. The charge follows it up. Triple kill from Chessie. Jesus, complexity. Turn that around again. They're trying to bring down Radiant's top tower. That is amazing. So it ends up being a 1700 net worth event, a trade for the favor of complexity. Chessie just going off. The armlet toggles are very nice from him. He gets a lucky four second chaos bolt. And they end up cleaning up MP. So Immortals, they're down 1000 net worth. We'll see if they're able to really pull it together they they've kind of lost the last two fights by a lot and they took out limp in that last engagement over bottom but other than that it really didn't seem like they were getting much of anything so 26 to 17 moving towards top is going to be immortals they've got two heroes here but they're not really Looking to make an aggressive move. Meanwhile, MP getting charged up by Z Freak. But definitely not going to commit to that. Dark light. Let's see. Complexity. Midas on this Warlock. Glimmer Cape here for the Spirit Breaker. Chessy with that Echo Saber now. Ooh, Rod of Atos still. Let's actually take a look over mid as they use that darkness coming in with a Thunderclap. is going to be limp. He's also going to get that Primal Split off with the Chaotic Offering coming through on three of these heroes. Frem's going to be in a lot of trouble. He's going to be saved by Dubu with the Shallow Grave. You take a look. Febby trying to retreat and QO's in the mix of this. But they've got the Ice Path. They've got the Macro Pyre laid down on top of him. Meanwhile, MP getting hit by the Dual Breath as well as the Liquid Fire. He'll be taken out by Kyle. They're looking for more. They've got the, the Fatal Bonds on a bunch of these heroes. And now QO, he's looking like Complexity might take him out. But they're starting to retreat as the primal split is going to be over and back to reality is Limp. They've got the Yules out on Z Freak. There's the Rod of Atos. Dual Breath comes through. Z Freak trying to charge himself out. This Golem starting to hit away at Dubu and Z Freak will finally fall. They lost Chessie in the fray as well. And it's a two for one trade in favor of Immortals. So we take a look at the net worth split on that one, and it's about 900 gold in favor of Immortals. They come out ahead as they don't really lose QO early in that fight. But again, QO trying to make a move here. Gets hit with the Rod of Atos. Now he uses himself up, stuck in the ice path. Chessie starting to hit away with Kyle. A three-second Chaos Bolt, but is it going to be enough? They've got the Dual Breath. There's the Timber Chain away. He waves his hands goodbye, and Limp still trying to chase. But you've got that Shallow Grave on to Febby. They finally take out QO. That wave goodbye was a little too preemptively, as he's going to be taken out by the Warlock. And now Dubu just trying to run away, but he's already used that Shallow Grave and Limp. One more time will slam him down. So now you look as Chessie's trying to, trying to start to chase. He blinks forward, Chaos Bolt for two seconds. The rupture's there, and Chessie might be in a little bit of trouble. He's silenced up, hit away by Febby, but the charge is here. The Thunderclap is going to follow that up, and it's a kill for Z Freak. Four dead on Immortals. So 31 to 19. Looking pretty good for Complexity despite only having a 2,000 net worth lead. Takes the tier 2 tower as well, and that's a 3,000 net worth lead here for the side of complexity. So our 
looking towards bottom. The charge is going to come in. QO might be in a little bit of trouble again as Chessy, he's starting to hit away. Here comes Wimp. The Ice Path is not going to hit, but now there's the Yules. Trying to keep himself alive with the Timber Chain. Dual Breath's going to slow him up, and the Primal Split's going to be committed by Limp. They've got the Shallow Grave. They pull him back, but just trying to get away with that Timber Chain is QO. Shallow Grave is finally off. Z Freak's going to charge all the way into Frey. The Blood Rite's going to try and split up this fight. It's not going to hit on, actually going to hit on Moo, and now they look for more. The Primal Split is about to run out on Limp, but they're still looking pretty decent on the side of Complexity as they lose nothing, and they will back off. So 31 to 19 still, no kills in that engagement. You have the boots of travel in from Forev, and again, Immortals, they're looking to put the pressure on to Complexity. Ugh, encoding is not working out really too well right now for me. That is great. So you take a look. Let's go around the horn, check out these items. Four Bloodstone charges, four QO. I didn't even notice that. He's got that Yules, but the Bloodstone just deteriorated. Still not connecting to Twitch, which is just fantastic. Just want that encoding back. So I want to give you guys the best casted game. Of course. So Dubu with just arcane boots, bottom of the net worth at 2300. Kyle here with the Warlock has that Midas, so he's up at about the 4500 mark. Z Freak, who's 3, 3, and 21. And for that Shadow Blade next, the ulti thrown it. Dubu not in time, the Ice Path just a little bit late. Woo! So close. I'll take that. So smoke comes out from complexity. As well as darkness. So it looks like both teams are looking to make a play. Dubu over towards this mid lane. And if he shows himself, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, complexity tried to make the jump. Atos comes in as well as Chessy. They've got locked down onto Febby. He'll be taken out first. Chaotic offering out on two. Look at the ulti flying through onto Dubu. The look for another one in QO. He's dead. Triple kill for Chessy just like that. A nicely placed Chaotic offering. They have the nice moves from uh, Chessy. They get the kills. Three for nothing in favor of Complexity. They're looking for more. They're looking for Forever. A little life drain here, and Z Freak, I don't think he bit off more than he can chew, but Forev starting to drain his life away. So you take a look, Roche getting taken by both Chessy and Limpa Tower, taken by Moo, and now with this Aegis. This is going to be on Chessy. We'll see how complexity work with this 6,000 net worth lead and the Aegis. So just continuing to farm away looking for that BKB is Chaos Knight. Take a look at the Brewmaster of Limp. He's got himself that BKB. Throws the Blink Dagger and the Echo Saber to Fusel next. Shadow Blade finally picked up on Z Freak. And let's see, who's he charging after? He's charging after QO, but I doubt he's going to go all the way through on that. For the other side, on Immortals, this Timber Saw down to two Bloodstone charges looking for a Shiva's, but. QO just struggling immensely to keep himself alive. You take a look at MP, whose game started so well, but now 5, 6, and 4 with just the Yules and 4 staff. He's looking for a BKB. 
maybe not the items that are pretty standard on this Bloodseeker. So there's the charge again. Going to be on Dubu Blink Thunderclap. Dubu in a lot of trouble. Going to try and TP out, but here comes Z Freak. And you are out of that TP, sir, and dead again. Limp. Now on the killing spree. Ulti flies through on a Febby. They might pick themselves off another one. Hunter in the night to try and get himself to the high ground. Actually, just uh, cliffs himself. So Febby going to be charged up by Z Freak. Hitting away his limp. There's the silence, but that ain't saving your life, Febby. One more shot, and down you go. Dominating is limp. You take a look over mid. Kyle, Chessie just trying to make something happen. They look towards QO. They've also got Moo here with the macro pyre. The charge is going to come in through Z Freak. MP might be in a little bit of trouble, and they finally use up this Brewmaster. MP still in the middle of the fray. The Chaotic Offering dropped down on just QO. The Ice Path hits on MP, and it's enough to lock him down to get the kill. Chessie cleans him up. QO now in the middle of this entire complexity team. He'll die as the BKB is popped by Chessie to keep him alive and get the kill. Brewmaster split up, pushing back this side of Immortals. They buy back on the Timbersaw of QO, but it looks like they're still going to lose this Rax. Mid set of Rax goes down, and complexity 13,000 net worth lead. It looked for a moment it wasn't going to go too well for them, but. Complexity looking pretty good, winning fight after fight after fight. It won like three fights in a row that resulted in three or more dead on Immortals. And then Complexity from there, they've just been cleaning up, get themselves a set of racks as well as the Aegis and extend that net worth lead to 13,000. Limp going to be looking for that Radiance next. The rest of the team is smoked up. It looks as though they're going to try and make an offensive move onto the side of Immortals. They've got the Rupture. The BKB is going to be used by Limp just to TP away and all the way back to base. But still, this is a smoked up complexity side, and they're looking for the charge. They're actually going to come all the way through on Dubu. He's going to be pinged out. He'll stop his charge, but now he's in the middle of the entire implex uh, <laughs> implexity, immortal side. The Ice Path is going to stop the life drain of this Pugna, and now he's going to be in a little bit of trouble they, as they lost Dubu. So they have no more shallow grave. They've got Q on MP trying to make something happen, but Chessie just continuing to hit away. Z Free comes in with a charge, but the Yule is going to keep the life of Q O around a little bit longer as they lose MP. They look towards <laughs> killing off Q O. Another triple kill for Chessy and Complexity again lose nothing. Just looking very easy for Complexity. They don't even lose Z Freak who looked to be in the middle of everybody on the side of uh, Immortals and they still can't even kill off just the Spirit Breaker. So you take a look as Complexity have made their way over towards bottom. They're cleaning up this tier 3. QO's dead for 44 seconds. Bloodseeker MP dead for 10. Question is, where is the answer from Immortals? Well, it doesn't look like they have any answer, and just like that, GG. So, 2 nothing win for Complexity. They'll verse DC next. As they take this series... Two up. Complexity look very nice there. They deserve to move on forward. Immortals again, a draft that just doesn't work out with Forev on the Pugna. And uh, just the Void as a mini stun. No real stun to their name. They tried it four times in a row. Four times it failed. Not saying stuns are everything, but maybe you try to switch up a little bit more coming into a series like this and a qualifier like this. But now Complexity... They played very well, 10 and 2 on Limp, Chessie 15 and 5, Z Freak 31 assists, just all over the place, really putting the pressure on Immortals and Complexity with that. We'll take this series to a move on to the next series against DC. That'll be coming up next. I'm your caster, BCOP, BKOP92 on Twitter. That's at BCOP92. We'll be back in just a moment. Thank you guys for watching. Really do appreciate it.